Hello guys, and welcome to this Inktober tour here. Some of you might have seen five of my Inktober drawings already in my previous video, where I went into details with my friend Matthias, aka Matt K Art. But here I'd like to show you all the other drawings that I've created during the infamous month we call Inktober. This year I decided to make Inktober a bit more special, so I actually bought a sketchbook solely for the purpose. So this is my first book of the brand Sea White of Brighton and it worked out quite nice actually. Um, it feels great to draw in, especially when drawing with fine liners and markers I think. The pages became slightly wobbly once I started playing around with ink washes, so not the optimal one for that purpose, but overall a really nice book with a great paper quality. Anyway, Inktober, 31 drawings, here we go. We have a crystal in the top and suit in the bottom. I started things out slow with some smaller drawings here. The old diving suit is drawn with an old CD marker and the wash is created with mushroom ink. Beautiful brown color, I think. I used mushroom ink quite a lot in, uh, in Inktober actually and it's just a wonderful medium, I think. So day three, Vessel. This drawing was quite something to draw. It ended up becoming so special to me that I just had to scan it for later on before spilling coffee on it or expose it to any other potential disaster. I made this drawing when I was studying Harry Clark in October and I really like the idea here of placing the prompt, which I interpreted here as an old shipwreck, um, going outside of the frame. This way I could tell a story of a diver and create this mysterious atmosphere at the bottom of the sea and also I didn't have to draw this huge gallon of a ship, but just kind of imply its huge size. I think the drawing took me about 3 or 4 hours to sketch and about 8 or 9 hours to ink. And at some point in the future it will be available in my webshop, I'm currently trying to figure out which platform to choose. Nut and Raven. Two drawings in one page again. I think that drawing these smaller motifs once in a while is a good approach when you lack time because um, this day I actually finished these two drawings in one day because I was um, catching up. So drawing smaller in smaller formats is really good a way to, to cut a corner here. Day six, we have Spirit. I'll jump nice and elegantly past this one as this has already been shown in the video I mentioned in the beginning. Fan. This was really fun to make. I instantly thought of the way the bird cormorant spreads out its wings to dry them. And down here I felt like making it more comic book-esque, telling just a tiny story about this bird by seeing it from a different viewing point. Watch has also been mentioned before, so we will skip that one. Day 9, Pressure. Oh, the days when I was doing moving shifts, carrying all sorts of heavy stuff and whatnot up people's stairs. I don't miss those times. And we have Pick. I used an old sketch for a children's book for the flower here, and then I had a lot of fun creating this weird um, kind of perspective. Day 10, Sour. Stuck has also been walked through with Matthias. And then we have Roof. As you might tell, these two characters are the same as those from Stuck. Like Vessel, I thought it was really fun to use the prompt to sort of create the background for something else going on. So that the prompt becomes almost like a background stage for something entirely different. Tick. This one I really remember. All day long I went about and thought what on earth should I draw? I really had no idea and then like 20 minutes to midnight it came to me. A guy praying for an idea as the time was closing in on me. So this in a way is a weird self-portrait even though he doesn't really resemble me. Helmet. This was really fun to make.
Dune. This has been discussed with Matthias also. I can really recommend you guys going to the cinema and watch the film. It was amazing. Collide turned out way darker than what I kind of wanted to. Moon. I figured I wanted to do at least something Halloween themed this year. For this composition um, and for the architecture of the bridge and of the K here in the corner, I used a photo reference from Central Copenhagen. And then I kind of placed these two characters. Loop, the prompt here being the tiny loop in this Captain David Jones inspired character's mustache. And you have Sprout. This one was kind of interesting. Me and my three-year-old nephew did some doodles here and then I sort of tried to incorporate the word Sprout into it afterwards. Same thing here for Fuzzy actually. My nephew did um, this wobbly frame um, and then I kind of thought, hmm, could I maybe use this as a frame that I have to kind of work around in some way? And so I ended up using the shape that he drew to create a hedgehog. Day 22, open. Here I used a very strange or a peculiar photo reference that's um, maybe kind of fun for you guys to see. A piece of trodden tinfoil lying on the street one day. I figured it looked like a shark and voila, there I had my shark trying to get its meal. And I've actually made a video about how I kind of find little stuff lying on the street, scraps and bits I find, and I kind of find some intriguing details about it. And then how I kind of use it in my work. Um, I call it poetic drawing. Leak. For this one, I also used a photo reference of a motorcycle toy, actually. I wanted to kind of create the feeling of a movie shot, sort of the opening scene where we establish the character and the action. And I wanted to create a character that seemed a bit badass. His name is Birdis. <laughs> that uh, umlaut is just too funny. Day 24, extinct on more levels here. Is it just me or do you also think that librarians are more and more seldom? I miss the times when you could actually go to a librarian and have a chat. I remember being able to ask the librarian about books for school projects or book recommendations, but nowadays it's all touch screens and librarians sitting somewhere else talking to you through the screen. How does librarians function in your part of the world? Hit me up in the comments. Day 25, Splat. This was exactly how I felt at this stage of October. Smashed and trying to keep up the energy. Connect. I had a lot of fun with this one. I think the iron giant popped up from my subconsciousness for this one. Spark. Crispy, another Halloween themed drawing. The spoon here being the crispy part. We have patch. Day 30, slither. This is uh, turquoise ink mixed with mushroom ink. First time I tried to actually mix um, mushroom ink with a color, and I think the texture is quite um, intriguing. Day 31, risk, so tired at this stage, and like no energy for inventing and coming up with things. So happy that you guys wanted to watch along. Um, as I've mentioned, there's a video where I go into details and talk about different approaches of doing Inktober together with Matthias, um, feel free to check that video out. My next sketchbook tour will be a very different one, I can promise you that. And I can reveal that it's going to be all about environments. I wish you all the best and a pleasant day from here. 
see you soon.